recognize that we are still at the beginning of this. Everything has just started. The accident was only 23 days ago, and we are still working on things. I'm working on getting stronger every day, and my parents are working on figuring out how we're going to do this thing at home, how we're going to work with Medicaid, how they're going to find a new house that's wheelchair accessible so I can get into it, um, how we're going to afford some of this ridiculously expensive equipment, and just how we're going to come out of this. I know eventually it'll all be normal, it'll all be old hat, but right now it's fresh. It's a big gaping wound that has tore through my entire support system. We're just waiting for it to heal, day by day, working through it, sticking together, praying, just trying to listen to God's voice in this and what he says about my recovery because his voice is the only one that matters. And in the midst of all that, I'm just struck by how lucky I am, by how many people have just come out of the woodwork to support me, to care for me, to pray for me. It's, it's incredible. It's a silver lining. You think, you know, there's got to be a limit on what can have a silver lining, but after being paralyzed, I don't think there is. I think everything can have a silver lining. I can have people staying with me overnight, family members coming to visit that we haven't seen in a long time, old friends coming back and gathering, supporting not only me, but also my parents in this time. Because this did not just happen to me, this happened to my entire family. And I'm very aware of that. So we're thankful for everything we get, everything we are blessed with just blows our minds every day. And I just want to end this video with a thank you. With thank you for watching, thank you for praying, thank you for donating, for putting us in contact with people that can help us for giving us services, acts of love. Just thank you for being here while we go through this big, scary thing. How are your parents doing with all this? My parents have been great through all of this, but of course they are, they are grieving, they are confused. They are faced with a lot of difficulties regarding dancing around Medicaid, regarding finding me a new house regarding how they will take care of their now paralyzed adult daughter who previously was living independently on her own. But they're helping me see the bright side. My mom is helping me develop my walk with God. My dad is just incessant in his search for a home for us. He is desperate to provide for me. And all that just means I'm blessed with a good family. How's Chuck doing? Will you be able to ha still have him? My dog is the light of my life and currently he is being taken care of, no worries, by my best friend and previous roommate, Nick. He is taking care of Chuck, um, making sure that he's, you know, a happy pup. And actually on Monday, March 10th, he is taking Chuck to be evaluated by a trainer, so hopefully one day, um, soon, Chuck can be trained to perform tasks like opening a door for me or picking up things that I've dropped. Hopefully we can get him trained to be a service dog. If not, we're just going to have to get him trained to be a, a calmer pet. As an able-bodied person, I could manage him if he pulled on the leash or if he did something naughty, but I can't do much from the wheelchair, so we're getting some behavioral things smoothed out with him, and um, 
he's been out to visit me a couple times, and from what I can tell, he's just the same old happy pup he was always. Last but not least, how can the people who love and support you help you the most? If you want to help me, if you want to support me, there's just, I mean, there's no, really no limit on the ways that you can support me. Firstly, your prayers are greatly appreciated. Um, if you want to donate to the GoFundMe, that is just so helpful because the price of everything that I need runs near to a hundred thousand dollars and um, if you know of anybody who can set me up with a fundraising organization who can maybe help us in any way if you have any contacts you'd like to put us in touch with if you have anything you'd like to send us whether it be mementos or even equipment for handicapped people like myself if you have some available and want to send it to us let us know because we we need it um and you know really if you just want to watch this video and just think of me and keep me in your heart that's accepted too uh what is one thing you want everyone to know um one thing that i would want everyone to know is that i'm doing okay this sucks, and I have a lot of grieving to do still. But overall, I know that my skills will improve. I'll get back to work. I've met people in my situation in powered chairs like me who are living on their own. People who are about to take their LSATs from a power chair with limited hand function like myself. People who are driving cars on their own and just doing things that they always did. Just living their life like they did. So those thoughts keep me in the positive and just know that mentally I'm not, I'm not dying mentally. Everything's gonna be okay.